Hello boys and girls, welcome to Bench Art. I'm for Classic and today what we do have in here it is Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. This game it is developed by Toys for Bob and also Binox and it was ported over to the PC thanks to Art uh, Suit Labs. It is using Unreal Engine 4 and the great challenge in this video it is to show you how you can run Crash Bandicoot 4 with the mere Intel with G620. So looking to the requirements, there is no specification in here or anything that tells you that you can that you can do so with the mere Intel with G620. But my results show you that it is possible. So I decide to try the game with two different settings. First of all, I put the game on minimum settings at 720p, and the experience was not entirely good so my average was 26 frames per second my minimum it was 20 and 90 percent of the time the game was under 30 frames per second that's not really the experience that you want to get so since the game uses unreal engine 4 usually unreal engine 4 games have config files and on the description of the video that is there the location of the config file of this game so you need to go to that folder that i have on the description of the video that file and that is something there called resolution scaling which should be at 100 so what you need to do it is adjust your resolution scaling until you get the desired performance that you want in my case 75 it was okay but if you want to drop it out a little bit more you could do to 70 or even 65 or you can do higher values whatever whatever that that makes you feel uh, that the game it is playable for you for me it was 75 and by using 75 my experience with the game it was overall above 30 frames per second uh, there was just small drops here and there nothing special the biggest drops were during the cutscenes cutscenes moments really drops below the 30 frames per second all right but the uh, cutscenes are not playable moments so it won't get in the way in the in your gameplay you know so it's not going to make your gameplay worse so it's just cutscenes you know you won't be playing cutscenes you will be just watching them so it's not going to affect you that much it will be looking a little bit more choppy than the gameplay but they are just cutscenes, so I think that it doesn't matter that much. So overall, the game will be playable above 30 frames per second. So in this video, I locked the game to 30 frames per second. As you know, on my channel, I usually do this for my Intel GPU videos, or whatever, I lock it to 30 or 60 because of temperatures, because I do have issues with temperatures in my laptop. And so locking the frame rate kind of solves more or less the issue for me. But those results that I did show you, it was without recording and with frame rate unlocked. But for the video purposes, I decided to just lock it to 30 frames per second. Obviously, since I'm recording, the frame rate that you are seeing, it is having, having a higher impact than the usual. So those drops that you saw there to 27 and 28 during this uh, vine skating or whatever, sliding, whatever you want to call it they don't really happen to me while not recording so it is playable yeah graphics quality it is not entirely great but i think it's great that you can play crash bandicoot 4 with a mere intel wg620 the only secret is you need to have dual channel memory just make sure your ram it is in dual channel if it isn't in dual channel don't expect this type of performance Possibly it will be unplayable, even if you use resolution scaling to 50. So you need to have dual channel memory in order to play with an Intel WG620. And that's pretty much all about the performance. Now about the game. As for the gameplay itself, what can I say? It's Crash Bandicoot, like it always was. That is nothing different about it, apart from being more revamped, better animations, everything is simply better, but it still retains what made the classic so special. So, very, very good job from the developer team to keep up with the same vibe as the classic games. So, this is awesome stuff, and the meta score. Uh, I mean, the Metacritic score really and clearly shows that uh, people are... Uh, I mean, critics did enjoy the game because the score it is very close to 90. So, 
Unfortunately, there are some things that doesn't make sense on the PC version. First of all, the anti-piracy method that they are using. So first of all, this game it is an exclusive to the Battle.net store, which is the store that you need to have if you want to play, for example, Call of Duty Warzone. So it's an exclusive to that specific store, which means that you can't buy this game for Steam or even Epic Games. All right, it's an exclusive to Battle.net. It might put some people off because of that. And second thing, uh, it isn't really expensive. It costs $39.99. So I think it's, yeah, it's a respectable price in my opinion. So I'm not going to argue about the price because it seems fine. I have seen worse cases of many other games that uh, weren't really that great and cost more. So $39.99, it is not expensive for the game that it is. But uh, unfortunately, the PC version requires you to be always online to play this game. And it's not because this game has uh, online features on anything like it. No, it's because of the anti-piracy methods that they are using it. So, I wouldn't be entirely pissed off if these things would simply work. But what really pisses me off is that... Uh, this game requires you to be online in order to play this game and the game it is also available out there on piracy boats if you know what I mean so these specific piracy methods which forces you to play online you that did pay $39.99 for this game it just it just didn't work out because the game it's just out there out there available to anyone that wants to play the game so which is disappointing in my opinion i think that activision binox or artsuit labs or whatever should simply disable this anti-piracy method since it's just simply it isn't working people are playing this game for free at the moment and they don't need to be online so why the hell you that pay for this game need to be online in order to play this game so please artsuit labs remove that crap because it is simply not working and you are pissing people off that did play it for the game. So apart from that, there's nothing that I can say more about the game. It's Crash Bandicoot. So if you did enjoy the predecessors, I'm pretty sure you are going to love this one. And that's what I have to say about it. So guys, I think that's all. Hope you keep enjoying the rest of the gameplay. And I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>